Teresa. We should go for the D-Dans. Mmm. Better hope you're going for a psychic type move. Yes, sir. Alright, so here's the thing. Safest option, I would say, is we crunch no matter what. Because crunch will kill Alakazam. And it will do a lot of damage to either Gigalith or Staraptor. The problem is, is with the Mon like Staraptor out on the field, I'm afraid a close combat is going to come. Because an Earthquake I'll eat. That's not a problem at all. And it's swapping right back into it, so it makes me think it does have close combat. But I also have a stupid amount of attack, and I'm plus one. This is stab. Oh, no. episode of the Pokemon Volt White Randomized Master Mode. Uh, previously, we defeated Skyla in a pretty <laughs> pretty one-sided gym battle, if I do say so myself. Um, we went ahead and put in all the stuff that we needed to put in, um, which were our three encounters, which were an unknown, um, a Blaziken, and a Charizard. We used the jailbreak that we received, I believe it was at the end of the previous episode. We brought back our Servine, which actually is now a superior, and is our for our starter from the very, very beginning. Um, I was thinking because um, we didn't have a dragon type anymore, and we've been really, really looking for a good grass type. Um, I figured that superior was actually going to be a pretty good option for us here. Um, so we went ahead and did that. <coughs> um, but yeah, in today's episode, um, as well, we did put in the heart scales too. But in today's episode, we will keep venturing north. I believe we'll have this episode where we venture north. Um, we'll get access to Surf, um, or we'll get the HM for Surf. And then next episode will be the episode where we'll have a huge... Um, amount of things that we're going to do in terms of like grinding and get encounters and all this stuff. Um, so today we'll just move as far as we can in this episode. And then after that, we will, like I said, go ahead and do the little bit of grinding that we need to. Um, I'm paying attention to Delilah down here because I don't want her to bite my shit. And as we know from previous episodes, she'll gladly do what she wants to do. So, let's go ahead and refresh that and see what it said. No marks? Okay, that should be, that should be fine, actually. That should be a pretty easy challenge, considering. Can you get out from under there? Stop. That should be a pretty easy challenge, considering I'm, I'm fairly confident we Bought everything we needed to. We have 12, <laughs> 21 hyper potions. I want to say we're good on repels. Um, especially going through Twist Mountain, which I don't know how much of that we're going to actually get through today. Um, but yeah, we still have some super repels as well. Pretty good challenge. Pretty good challenge for us, I would say. Should be pretty easy. Oh, it's july now when i'm recording this so it's a new season technically but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and check out this house um because i want to say we can learn leaf storm now We cannot learn Leaf's Storm. Okay. <laughs> it's a little annoying, but <laughs> I'm not too bothered by it. 
Not really too bothered by it. All right, so let's go ahead head on north. Um, I don't remember what Bryson's ace is. I want to say it's. Mid 60s sounds right. I just don't know. I just don't know how right that sounds. Okay. And something tells me this battle against Sharon is going to be no ordinary battle, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. I don't know, I just have a, I have a tingle. And usually when I have a tingle, it's right. I could be wrong, which is fine if I'm wrong. <coughs> it's gonna be wrong every once in a while. I would prefer if it's not a silly rival battle and you know, just keep it, just keep it normal, it'd be great. It's a fucking rotation battle. Oh my god. Because the triple battle for the gym leader wasn't enough. Alright, we got Seraptor, Gigalith, Alakazam. Ooh. But you want to know something? want to know something is that I'm not really too worried about this considering what we got on the field right now all right so let's see <coughs> I think we should rotate to Teresa we should go for the D-dance Better hope you're going for a psychic type move. Yes, sir. All right, so here's the thing. Safest option, I would say, is we crunch no matter what, because crunch will kill Alakazam, and it will do a lot of damage to either Gigalith or Staraptor. Problem is, is with the Mon Lake Seraptor out on the field, I'm afraid a close combat is going to come. Because an Earthquake, I'll eat. That's not a problem at all. And it's swapping right back into it, so it makes me think it does have close combat. But I also have a stupid amount of attack, and I'm plus one. This is Stab. Oh, no. It's not, it's, it's not stab. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe that's why you should save your stuff um, for situations like this. Um, well, that sucks. That really sucks because that walled that Alakazam. I know I should have went for Rock Slide. I knew I should have went for Rock Slide. That's annoying, bro. That's fucking annoying. Well, we can hope that... <laughs> we, we got something in the box that can replace that, hopefully. <laughs> if not later on. It's just so fucking annoying that, of course, that happens right then and there. Um, I guess. I 
I don't feel like I outspeed with Cobalion. Definitely don't outspeed Alexam. Okay. Also, don't ask why it's lagging. I have no idea. Okay, this Gyarados doesn't have Intimidate. Gigalith. Why would you swap in a Gigalith? For Stealth Rock purposes? I still click Strength no matter what because it's super effective against the other two mons. I was gonna say, if I outspeed Alexam, I 100% am outspeeding Star After. How the fuck did I outspeed an Alakazam? I know I'm three levels higher, but Alakazam is definitely quicker than Gobalion. Okay, Embor. Um, I think we go into Dopey here, and we Scald. Because we either kill the Embor, we kill the Gigalith. Um, we do a lot of damage to Gyarados. It'd be nice if we burn the Gyarados. But it's sending in Gigalith, which we might actually be faster than. <laughs> I'm pissed about the T-Tar, man. I really am pissed about that T-Tar. Because of course. All right, Simi Sage. All right, this will be tricky to deal with. I could go Strength on Cobalion. That would be super effective against Gyarados. Neutral against Embor and Simi Sage. For the most part, these are all physical attackers and we're physically bulky. I could also Swords Dance based on what he decides to keep in. Is that a smarter play? Am I even holding anything? What the hell was Teresa holding? Expert belt. Problem is, is if he swaps in the M bore. Actually, no, I could predict him switching into M bore. Or Gyarados, for that matter, and hitting me with a Dark type move. And if not, then the Semi Sage is hitting me with a Grass type move. Either way, I think it's a win win. Because if I get to plus three. Oh. Interesting. He should outspeed us now, because of that. He should outspeed us now because of that. And he swaps. I know that's neutral, but I just need to do good damage. It does good damage, but I'm not sure if I want to stay in because he's going to 
bulk up. Are you bold enough to stay in, though? Are you bold enough to stay in with this thing? You're not. What are you gonna go for? Fling? Iron Ball. Doesn't the Iron Ball make you go... Doesn't the Iron Ball make you go, like, last? Burn this thing? Okay. And Gyarados is still there with the Dragon Dance, so we're not out of the woods just yet. Um... I'm trying to think here. Could go back into Cobalion. Expecting Gyarados to come in, and we strengthen. I think that's what we do. Then Simi Sage is dead. That's completely fine. Seems like an odd strategy to do there, but whatever works. Okay. Um, expecting Embor to come out, so I'm gonna go with Dopey for this. Yes. We are missing a little bit of health, more than I'd like. Okay. That could kill me. Woo! Oh, that was Rocky Helmet damage too. I mean, it didn't matter, but I was just hoping to live. Cause this is quite effective on him. Since he's fired ground in this game. Yeah, that's the problem with Dopey, just because it's so slow. Alright. <laughs> I mean, we're in the clear. A D dances again, that's fine. Because this is plus two, you're dead. I'm still upset about the T-Tar. <laughs> like, we did good to keep that thing alive. And the first battle we get it, uh, second battle we get into it, but after the gym leader fucking dies. And I was fairly confident that that was a crit close combat, too, but... And in fact, was not. Uh, can't really blame anybody. But we did get Surf now, which is actually a pretty good move. Um, <laughs> we will teach it to slow, bro. Because... Because... Um, we need it to access water route areas. Um... And then it's also boosted with, uh... Drizzle, which is really, really good. I guess we can... I guess we can go see what's in our box. Oh, you wanna fight? <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Did I fought this guy before I fought the gym? Oh, 
1,000% I could have fought this guy before the gym. Holy shit. I want to say Bryson's ace is 62. Or, not 62, sorry. I don't know. I gotta check. Go ahead and go for cut. Sixty-three. Sixty-three, I believe, is his ace, which that's not terrible. And I know his gym battle is a double battle, so as long as I have good, good couple mons paired up next to each other. We should be just fine. But I am going to get my first encounter here in Twist Mountain. Fanfi, level 46. Bump that up to 10 levels and it'll be what it actually is. I actually don't need this sticky note in particular anymore. I had to make a new one because it's a new recording session. Um. Great ball should be enough to catch this thing. Let's be real right now. A word? A word? I don't want to use an ultra ball on this. <laughs> I just realized... I could go potentially catch Verizion and Cobalion. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I feel like it'd be great to save them for the grinding at the beginning of the next episode. But also at the same time, like, I don't know, man. I mean, I can't even catch a fan right now, so. Like, what is going on here? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's eating up time, so that means more Twist Mountain is going to be explored in the next episode anyways, but... This is a fucking fan fee, and I'm not catching it. Why don't you want to bet I throw one uh, Ultra Ball at it and I catch it? He proved me wrong. He proved me wrong. But why is he why is he being so difficult to catch? Like, it's a fan feed. They're not crazy. He's in the yellow. Like, I hit him one more time, he's probably dead. Thank you. Why why was that so difficult? I love Don Fan and Fanfy, but like you don't have to make you don't have to make things difficult just because you want to. In fact, do the exact opposite. Alright, let's go ahead and fly. 
Let's go ahead and fly back. But yeah, I can catch... Um, attempt to catch Cobalion and Viridion. I might just knock them out, Loki. Not a terrible idea. I want to look at my box real quick. Okay, I'm going to put you there. You there. And you here. I'm going to move you actually down one real. <coughs> All right, just because we are assuming right now we aren't able to... Oh, we wouldn't have been able to get critted anyways. Hmm. It may be permanent, it may not be permanent, we don't know yet, um, but... As for right now, we are gonna put the... Titar in the death box. Um, I can probably say with a lot of confidence if we do earn a jailbreak, um, that is who we're gonna bring back. Like it just makes the most sense outside of maybe Hydreigon, but we just brought back a dragon type with the superior. So I don't know, to me it just makes the most sense to bring back Teresa because Teresa has been here with us for a while actually it's kind of crazy looking at this team seeing all the changes that have been made I almost went to that mark I almost screwed myself over okay so what can I do for the next six minutes Probably actually heal up. Probably actually heal up would be a good idea. And should I? I should probably throw on Lucky Eggs as well. Especially because we're going to go into areas where we're going to be fighting a lot of trainers and grinding. I should probably throw on all uh, Lucky Eggs on everybody. That's just what I think. seem as <laughs> unreachable especially because i know a lot of the areas where you can train there's actually a lot more we can really do before we take on the gym i guess we could do a little bit of twist mountain i'm not saying there's gonna be a whole lot of it done but can do some of it we'll probably get like a room through room or we'll get to like one or two trainer battles i'm kind of sitting here thinking i'm like okay since we got the punishment of having to play the post game it's kind of one of those things that with hindsight now being what it is it's actually kind of neat in a way because i'm going to be seeing a lot of things for the first time with blaze black volt white um in post game i mean what we're doing in grinding is technically going to be fresh so, like, I'm actually, like, super duper excited for this. Um, who do I want to lead with? 
think Justice might be their safest bet. Which is ironic, because you, you could actually get Cobalion around this point now. Technically. Yeah, we go down, right? We don't go up. Revive? Don't need that. Well, I could use that, but... <laughs> Full heal. Just for shits and giggles, what what is this? Oh! No thank you. I already dealt with you. Oh, you have Mold Breaker? Actually, you know what? Just because I can? Just because I can. I wish I knew. Alright. This is probably the only trainer battle we're going to get through. Maybe one more. Maybe. Can we fly out of here? I have no, I have no idea if we can or not. 52. Okay. Ain't bad. Oh. Oh. Doesn't kill. I mean, I didn't expect it to kill Sudowoodo, but the fact that I got <laughs> that I got that close to killing, kind of crazy. Obat. Kind of think of what I would want off the wheel. Uh, Jailbreak is the most obvious one that I want the T-Tar back for a full team, but I also want the suspense of whatever we're gonna find in grinding. Because we're going to get a fair few encounters. We're going to get a Larvesta egg. We should get... Two... We should get... The Larvesta egg. One, two, three. Three regular encounters, and then I think we get the chance to encounter both Parisian and Cobalion. Which, if I do catch those, which I will attempt to catch them, um, then six, I believe, we'll get six encounters. Can we fly out here? Yes, we can. All right, so we'll do ourselves a favor, and we will fly. To Accumula Town. Because this is where I'm actually going to start. <coughs> it's gonna s this is where we're going to start. Now, I think, because I closed out of the wheels, I actually got to do a little bit of a... Open that one. So that's the one we need, but... Oh, I am not done this. Hold on.
There we go. Now we got to do this. Because I forgot to put this on my... <laughs> I forgot to actually put this on my... There we go. So, <laughs> open this up. Sorry for taking a little too long. Um, boom, that opens up this. We need to go to here. Okay, it's fine, I guess. Can make any Pokemon shiny. You know what? I might take advantage of that. If you all enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Next episode, we will be going through Twist Mountain with a pretty updated team, I would have to guess. Um, like I said, there's quite a bit for us to do between now and then, so um, the team is going to be updated somewhat. Um, like I said, I'm going to do grinding. I'm going to try to get my encounters and whatnot. So there's that. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Master Mode. Peace out.